anyone there? <laughs> okay, timing on Amy there. Oop. Uh, oh, hey, everyone. <laughs> All right, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, uh, along with... The fearsome Drakeel, his first mate, with sandwiches. <laughs> and welcome back to Zen's Already Hidden Portal, where last time, well, we mucked through the swamp. We had our first fairy evolution, which, well, didn't come with much fanfare. And we uh, managed to find our way over here to the forest huts, where, well, they... <laughs> They've got a bit of a prickly situation going on, literally. Yep, and I'm already teary eyed from laughter from that intro. <laughs> yeah, Amy can get that a bit sassy so if you leave her idle. You uh, see so... the timing. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to our forest hut. The prickly bushes have overgrown our land so much we can't live in it any longer. My husband is looking for a remedy, which is supposed to be hidden in the swamp. Find any prickly bushes on our land and remove them. I found the element, uh, elementary key of uh, nature to the world of the druids. I can reward you with it. And that is our reason for coming here. We need that key. So, uh, yeah, from hero... Okay. <laughs> Going from hero destined to save this world to uh, <laughs> landscaping, <laughs> landscaper. Yeah, we just need to find them, and our fairy will do the work. Is that more weight control? Yeah, I think that's part of uh, landscaping. I, I forget what the second word for it is. Landscaping, yeah, landscaping work. Anyways, I know that there's at least one more, so let's head inside. Also, curious how all the doors in this world, designed for people like half Amy's height, are still big enough for her to get around. And, well, the closets as well. And that bed is... Okay, it looks like this furniture is made for humans. Yeah, it could be just they yeah, that they just like their oversized stuff. And let's see, this one I believe, yep, it's because this one is colored differently. And then the last bush is here. Okay, along with some goodies again. Let's see, Her, herbs and a mana potion. Okay, nothing too special at least. Okay, and with that... Uh, can we just jump over the edge? Yes, we can. <laughs> Two more bushes. Okay. Uh, where are they then? I should never think about it. Is we control a correct term for dealing with home from plants? Uh, it probably fits. And um, okay, that. Yeah, this is not the way to go, because that's a pretty solid lock on there that we don't have the key for. That is for later in the story, I remember. So for now... You call that solid? <laughs> Give me a fine dwarven cat and I get through it. <laughs> okay, back to weed whacker duty. What? You want me to Oop. prove it? Okay, I'd forgotten that you did. <laughs> I forgot that there's actually spawn points here. So, time for Tinazar to get some more practice in. You know, mostly a practice uh -oh. in patience with how long this takes to charge. And it, it will be quite a while still before we can get any new spells for him. Wait, what? Oh, Tinazar must have been lower on health than I remembered. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. And that's... Uh, that's a reminder that you do. <laughs> you should not get cocky. Holy. Yeah, let's just. Let's investigate the health of our creatures. Uh, I mean, fairies, sorry. Okay, Tinazard is down. And. 
Oh, oh, wait, but no. Okay, Tinizard was defeated, but... Hmm. Oh, I, I think I remember now. There is one spell that forces a fairy to swap out, I believe. I think that's what hit Vita uh, Vitaria, or... Yes, <laughs> Vitaria, because she was still <laughs> at a good amount of health. Or I think there is a spell that Ooh. does that. Hmm. Either way, one more boar is gone, one to go. Question is, where is it going to be hidden? Because we've cleaned the house. Hmm. Let's see then. So, pretty impressively sized <laughs> tree that they made this thing out of. Well, it's a stump, but still impressive that it is. Uh... They're able to carve it out so well. Though, I do wonder what happened to the upper half. Hmm, good points. But it didn't see. Look, the, it could have snapped off, then they sawed off the torn pits on top of it, just to make it more flat. So I don't think the. Like, these people don't seem like they have, uh, like, giant chainsaws. No. <laughs> Thank you for freeing our house from the bushes. You really deserve to have the elementary uh, key of nature. You used to activate the elevator to the realm of the druids. Okay. Elemental keys conjure up myst uh, mysterious powers which will often be used by dwarves to provide power for their old machines. Okay. And let's see. I believe we'd found... Had we found a room to here? We caught it and... Okay, correction. Hmm. Maybe the dwarves have the machines to cut down massive trees. <laughs> yeah, very likely. Though they could have just used fairies as well, because they are elemental beings that can control stuff here. And I believe this is where we just... Yep. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay. I think I remember something about one of these portals being to the forest hut, but I'm not entirely sure. So, for now, let's actually go back to the fairy garden. Actually, no, we could have, we could go straight to the... We could go straight to the cottage. And I don't think we have enough pixies to turn in for another reward. But at the very least, we can ask Raki for anything now. Since, yeah, last time he told us about the, the nature card, I think. <laughs> fairy card of nature is just one in a line of cards. To explore other places within Zanzara, find the fairy card of earth. Combine it with a stone fairy to move to large rocks. The information is all unproven, more legend than fact, but you should find this card in the forgotten realm of clouds. The dwarves once built machines to reach those heights. Is the refuge of knowledge? Okay, I think we've heard this before. And the third for the... Yeah, he, he also pointed us to the forest hut. Okay. So, to the cottage. Hmm. I think I said I'd... I think I said I would grind a bit off screen, but I didn't do that. And mostly the last week I've been busy with, well, four freaking night shifts in a, way, in a row. So, uh, <laughs> things were a bit busy for a while. Yeah, and you've also been busy, busy with Minecraft off-screen. Yeah, we've been having a lot of progress with that made, at least. <clears throat> now, this little Pepper spot... Those wondering, be, be... Go ahead. Uh, go, go on. You, 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 you go ahead first. Uh, this little spot is just a, yeah, it doesn't really go anywhere too important, but it does lead us to uh, a magic merchant and a dwarf. So let's see, what spells do you have? Energy spells, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, what? But I was to say earlier, there was, uh, with Minecraft, we just been dealing with the grind. And yeah. dealing to get, yeah, basically get rid of the boring stuff. To have more fun stuff to show. Yes. Exploration, uh, construction and such. 
and looking more into view enhancer <clears throat> and looking more into some of the other mods so we don't aren't just busy with only uh, mine colonies and such yeah and also try to make sure the things will be smooth going yeah. we don't spend off for like two hours trying to figure out one little thing <laughs> Also, uh, I think we found uh, Grumpy from the Seven <laughs> from the Seven Dwarfs. Leading <laughs> uh, aside for a sec to grab my elemental cards to show which ones are strong against which, because I can't remember <laughs> off the top of my head. What kind of ghastly apparition are you? Don't be sad. Not everyone can be a dwarf. Can I help you anyway? Uh, what is the origin <laughs> and sense of this ominous storm cloud? Are <laughs> you just that annoyed at me? Don't ask me about this idiotic thunder cloud. It rains down on me day by day, and then there are no permanent flashes of lightning. I actually wanted to try a little experiment. Being such a great inventor, I wanted to use the lightning of a storm to supply energy to our machines. Unfortunately, the lighting I had hoped to, yeah, I had hoped for hit me. Ever since, I seem to be in the center of a low. Uh, of a low? Okay, that sounds like a bit of unfinished sentence, maybe. Uh, here in this cave, at least I don't annoy anybody. Uh, let's see. I'm no great trader, but I could show you my fairy. It was a nice nature fairy once, but the constant lightning somehow confused its magical essence. Uh, I will give you this rare fairy for the ridiculous price of 400 fairy coins. Do you agree? Well, we have more than plenty of that, so thank you. Great, take this fairy. It was a second one of its kind, but it escaped. Uh, maybe you can find it. And with that, we buy Darbu. Or Darbu, however you're supposed to pronounce that. This is the male variant and the contrary of the energy fairy. Yeah. It was created by an experiment of the dwarves. In contrast to his sister, he can appear in different states. Okay. Let's have a look. Our first energy fairy. We've seen one of these before with uh, the uh, shadow elves. Low hit point, but extremely high dexterity and jump. And moderate, uh, uh, below moderate special. And yeah, we already read that out. Let's see, what is it? Actually, we would need to go back to London to see its level. So we'll see that well, next time we find, <laughs> next time we're near one of the teleports, uh, yeah, teleportation spots. So we don't have to go running yeah. back here again. I just, I just realized something. Hmm? This has, you said this is like Pokemon, but be fairy, correct? Yep. That includes the main character. <laughs> okay, how do you mean? But by the fact that Think they, about they, it. <laughs> they're carrying a backpack like every Pokemon trainer ever. That as well. And they rarely, if at all, talk. Actually, yeah. she talks more than the Pokemon trainer. Uh, yeah. But I, I get the feeling part of why Amy is so bland of a character is might be for people to be able to insert themselves into her position. And just Possibly. like that with the mountains. <laughs> and as we also know, at least I've been hearing that, Pokemon is a fun game to play, but the stories are not really grand or great. This is comical for Digimon stories are known to be great, but they still struggle to figure out what games should be their style. Yeah, there's also a, uh, it's not That'd that all Pokemon stories are bad. Like some of them are pretty interesting, but not all of them. But in general, uh, Digimon also tends to be a lot darker and uh, a lot more complex in its systems. Yeah, and it's gonna age with this audience. Yeah. And trust me, I played Cyrus and good god, it got dark. <laughs> and, well, we have a new Chaos Fairy to look at. <laughs> uh, 
Ekritar. Yeah. Stop! Hold! No! Stop! Hold it! Hold it! That's not a fairy. That's <laughs> my mortal enemy. <laughs> For lies. Uh, yeah. Three but, chaos but, fairies. But, but I'm, gonna, I'm gonna grab my splash water. Uh, one way to tell what uh, type a fairy is, but is to look at its uh, <clears throat> at its powers. Some often that'll tell, well, have a have a bit be a pretty big tell, like chaos lightning, dance of chaos, creeping chaos. I <laughs> uh, could it be any more obvious? Anyways, yeah, yeah. let's swap these bugs. That's kind of interesting. I'm very merciful to animals if when I can. Like, I got bug nets, so I could, would not need to to be forced to kill bees. For I hated to kill the bees, but they forced me to, for they refused to fly out. So I always feel a bit sad if I had to kill a bee. Yeah, we have bug nets over most of the windows. Yeah. However, when it comes to flies. Yeah, screw those. <laughs> those are getting zapped. Yeah. No, no, I, I, I don't... I know we had a fly, like this virus water, but we never used it. Uh, doing a bit of a double check, what... Okay, if we had, uh, if we had the electric fairy with us, they'd be effective against water types. Along with air and air, ice, and uh, chaos. So for now, it's just a it's just just a straight up brawl. No, with no uh, <laughs> with no advantages or disadvantages one way or another, except for the fact that I swatted it in one shot. Uh, where did he go? Nevitaria ate it. <laughs> did you turn him into dinner? Uh, sushi, that, anyone? Yeah, I, I actually don't. I like sushi, but that's mostly because, well, all, all of the freaking bones and scales are, have been t taken care of. Like, I don't like fish normally because, yeah, I have a, I have a continued history of just finding those freaking bones inside of the, uh, inside of it, no matter how much it's damn cleaned. <laughs> Yes, same. I did not like fish stage, but I did like sushi. Oh, almost did. I, the, the one I tried sushi some year ago only now. I thought, oh, this is good. This is. Ew! And it got all ruined by due to. Paprika in the center. Okay. It, it, yeah, I don't know why. I think it was. Only their specialty. To do it there, and it ruined the whole thing for me. Just, it just probably took over all all the flavor. I could no longer taste the sushi only paprika, <laughs> and that uh, that made me a bit annoyed. For for a moment, I felt like I'm finally found a way to eat fish. So yeah, next time I try sushi, if I go if I go to somewhere else or that place again. I'm very Christian to not add paprika. Fun little fact, well, fun little linguistical <clears throat> fact, actually. Uh, we oh? we have we use the word paprika for two things, like the spice, but also for bell peppers. The way we do that as well. <laughs> okay. <then. laughs> Oop. Uh, air. Get that hit in. <laughs> I, I, I guess that is a. Uh, what is the term? Germanic thing? Yeah. If I use it terminology correctly? Yeah, that's likely. It's uh, the Dutch, German, and a bunch of uh, Scandinavian languages have a lot in common. Because they have a base. Generally. The same, oops, the same origin points. Like it came yeah, from the, the same, same language. Yeah, the same thing has what is called Germanic. 
Oops, sorry, yeah. Uh, uh, sorry for interrupting you yet, uh, One. No, he didn't interrupt me. I, I should... I should be putting Tadana back on the front again. Tadana needs some experience. So, let's actually quickly take care of that by the age-old tradition of just putting the trainee front. And hoping they don't get zapped instantly. What the? Ah. Hmm? Bright light! Bright light! Okay. I remember this place. Sun. Sun peek through the clouds. Yeah. <laughs> and it's shown. Uh, it, it's shown right through into your basement. <laughs> uh, costing I don't live you really in a light. basement. <laughs> I live in an apartment building. Okay, I know for a fact that, like, all three of these pillars are spawn points, so... <laughs> I think that's the... Oh, there we go. I was going to ask, are we really going to get through this without being harassed by at least one stone fairy? And I could have gone for lost stones in this. We are constantly harassed in the swamp. Oh, okay, good point I swapped out there because Tadana was out of mana. Uh, where is this thing? Ah, there you are. Okay, just... There we go, poisoned. So that's... Ow, that's going to help, anyway. This... Where... Ow, and I think I just zapped myself there. There we go. Uh, I think poison is really going to be of use to us in some longer battles. Especially then when we don't have a type advantage. Yeah, especially when it's hard to hit to begin with. So if you get, at least get some hits, at least that points will really help. Okay. I remember that this place is a bit of a maze. Uh oh. So, let's um, start from the bottom. You want me to call Harold? <laughs> no, I think Harold, I, no, I can find it so far. Mana potion. Sure? Speaking of mana potions... You, you, you remember... Oh dear. Yeah, I, I'm already worried. Uh, luckily, this place... <laughs> Well, it is big, but there aren't too many places for us to get lost, I believe. Yep. <laughs> and I think that was perfect timing because this fairy is telling us to get lost. Oh okay. dear. Standard tactic, poison, and then just keep willing away at it. Is stone types? They they have to oh, go out. They have. A, they are vulnerable to only three ow, elements about, which are Psy, Dark, and let me check the, the chart here. Uh, let's see, Stone, Light, Psy, and Dark are the only types effective against them. Okay. So, yeah, they, they are, no, they are li quite literally a stone wall. Okay, let's heal you up. Ah, uh, ha, uh, ah. Uh. Very funny. Let's see. Heal <laughs> Tinazard up some as well. Now, these trees are going to be spawn points for nature fairies as well. Pretty high-leveled ones. I, I say that and we immediately get annoyed by a Tinnaful. Hello there. Meet your cousin. Okay, what did we get bewitched by? Okay, it wasn't the charge one. I think it was movement speeds. Wait, only 18. Oh. It has it has defensive spells. That is going to be a problem because we have only one shot left. 
Okay, I, I should check more off. Uh, I should check the spells that the opponents have more often. To, well, to see if they have this bloody defensive spell. I believe it's called Bird Skin or something. I believe. I think we have it. You mean Bird Skin? I, I Why forget do you said Bird Skin? <laughs> the Bird. Uh, okay, let's poison it. That should help at least. Actually, we don't need to. So let's actually camp. What level are you? <laughs> uh, Tadana being cute. Uh, we should have plenty of orbs. So as long as this isn't the crystal one. Yep. There we go. And that's a pixie. There we go. Vulcan Chunkhold! Uh, let's see. Yeah, now that we have that Tinnafall, we could evolve it if needed, and it's it's leveled down to level 8. Okay. Yeah, that, ju that just shows how... Uh, yeah, how big of an experience loss they can get, and before I, for before I forget... Not that... Hmm. Wait, can we... I don't think... Is it, uh... Okay, you can use an elemental stone of nature on Tinnafall. Um, But I believe there are a few other fairies that you could use those on. So let's actually keep it. Because there's a, I believe there is a limited amount of those stones in this game. There's probably some place where we can buy them, but probably at a very high price. Also, let me... Kateria, uh, heal up a bit. Tinazar, heal up a bit. And the last two are stragglers. <laughs> We're mostly filling spots. Uh, yep. And someone was insulted by me calling him his cousin uh, just filler. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And I think I zapped myself. Or I caused Tadana to zap herself. Okay, I have no interest in you. Go away. <laughs> hmm. What the case with this mic? This mic seems like easier to pick up when I'm chuckling, but when I'm laughing, it struggles. Yeah, it could be that the laughter. Uh, maybe maybe it's supposed to uh, mute out background laughter and such, but it overworks that a bit. Perhaps I don't know. Saying, uh, do you and me fix this thing? It will go to harder to laugh for it to register. Uh, what the? Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure That's we missed a production. few of those. I'm pretty sure we missed a few of those sparkly fields in the last area. Because, yeah, there was a floating silver sphere over the river. And uh, Amy can't swim well enough to escape that. And also there's a portal over there and a gold sphere. Let's see. Oop. Why is my brain son trying to think of a river song? <laughs> okay, let's grab our loot. There we go. Hmm, no. <laughs> and, uh... Wait. And that reset everything in this area because we fell too high. Oh uh, well, well we saw I what was done there. For one second, and you die. Oh <laughs> uh, well, we can skip all of that down there. It's not. It's just loot mostly. So uh, uh, yeah. oh, yeah. sorry if we dropped you. 
But yeah, that goes to show that Very there dear. isn't fall damage in this game or anything, but if you do fall from too far a height, you will just get reset like that. Okay. Uh, now, as I was saying, I'm not... A, I'm, I don't think we'll be seeing every single type of fairy in the game. And I'm not really sure if we should try and uh, get as many as we can to fill out our fairy decks. But we could... We can definitely catch some extras along the way just to see what the uh, the Book of Fairies has to say about them. Like this Fazbet. If it's not going to get swatted instantly. Oh, no mana again. Dose! Okay. And... <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> okay. I think, I think the most, I think the easiest way to grind money in this game, which I have done in the past, is to just uh, find a spot with two or more, two or more spawn points. Oh, I forgot the pixie. We can go back for that later. And uh, basically, just pick on low-level fairies with high damage attacks, since the, the amount of uh, coins spawned depends on the damage, not the amount of health uh, that's lost i believe so yeah you can't just farm coins with by going complete overkill yay okay, that's probably going to drop us to our death uh let's take a look down the other passage here i believe this is this a dead end and uh, well it, <laughs> it has a dead drop uh, okay, here it is. this is. Should be an easy guess where this leads. Yep, up here. And we just... Uh, care? Okay. The game didn't seem to respond there for a second, so I hadn't had any words. But yeah. That's how we get that golden sphere. So now we can continue on through the rest of this area, which I believe has only one other exit. We have the entrance there that we came in from, and then we have another point where we can leave around the corner here. Did you say this was a labyrinth? Uh, I recall there being some areas here where it can be annoying to get around. Oh. Stobat, evolution of best bat. Hmm. Yep. I forgot to refill her mana. Okay, this should be easy enough. If I if I can get the shot in without hitting myself. Okay, two more hits like that should be enough. Okay. There we go. Wait for it to run. Yep, catch up. Okay. <laughs> what is it with this game and leaving fairies one experience point off from leveling up and... Bye-bye. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. <laughs> uh, I, I think it's through a bag of rubber balls at us. Nope. That's a very bad catcher. Let's see. Wait, I'm gonna let's test it. Let's see. I'm gonna throw this cannonball towards you and see if you can catch it. <laughs> no. Uh, 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 I thought I had the mana potions there, and of course, uh, the Dana isn't going to fall with a nature stone. And the Tinnifal. So let's try and catch this one as well. So poison it to help along. There we go. 
Uh, I probably shouldn't have swapped it to Donna again, but oh well. Oh, yeah, definitely shouldn't have. She was about to go down there. But everyone needs heals. Okay, one good hit should allow us... There we go. Leave Copter down! I believe it's only two more levels for Tadana to evolve. And yet, let's capture this one. That leaves us with two Tinefalls that we can use an Air and a Nature Stone on. And before I move any further steps... We are running low on healing items. Hmm. Okay. Yep. <laughs> of course. The second we grab it. Okay, Tinizard, your turn. It's actually not much. Yeah, we now we've been poisoned. Yeah, you are. Okay, just need an angle. Uh oh. Uh, okay, a question here. I want to see if others know about this. Whenever you're low on healing in a game, a Pokemon, Digimon, or any other game for that matter, doesn't the mob suddenly seem more aggressive? Uh, I think that's just a psychological thing, since you know you're in danger. But there might be some games that have that... Uh, might have it programmed in that enemies get more aggressive if you if you are debuffed. And I have no intention on capturing you, so there we go. That might be true. <laughs> Though, in some games where I just walk around, where they are pop up bugs like this, but sometimes I just have a few here and there, but as quick as I notice, oh, a low healing. And then the battles are almost non-stop. Like the ah. games uh, decide to really unnerve me or something, or piss me off. Oh, Celia should be easier since it's not evolved. Uh, let's see, actually. Uh, untouchable prevents status changes. Okay. Uh. Okay, Tinazard healed from leveling up, because I forgot to heal him. <laughs> I should check my fairies after each and every battle, just to be certain I don't get zapped out of nowhere. Okay. This is one of the more curious arenas. Yeah! Uh, uh, that was just spite. <laughs> uh, spiteful little shit. Wait, what, what don't we send our fairies after it? <laughs> that feels like there should be a thing. Uh, it would be nice. Oh, oh hello, the dark caves. Uh, let me uh -oh. check the, the chart here. Now, who should I have leading for this? Uh, ta -ta -ta. Okay, these are vulnerable to a lot of things. But... Yeah, let's leave Tadana up front for now. Just double-checking the stats. Were you about to call her Tanya? <laughs> I have been watching a few Red Alert videos lately, and... Uh, yeah, this is Mancray, a Psy Fairy. Let's see. It looks oh, uh, oddly oh, okay, familiar. Uh, we fought a Psy Fairy before during the previous stream, I believe. And uh, look at that look at that first set's defensive power. Opponent receives I the same amount of that. damage. <laughs> Opponent receives the same amount of damage inflicted. That that would be a hell of a pain. That would <laughs> that would be a hell of a way to screw with your enemies. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And it, it has the spell that teleports you around. Okay. We're actually going to need a Psy Fairy eventually, so let's just capture this one. Oh, it's a wide one! Yep. 
Um, do we actually need one? Now let's capture it all the same. Was that an electric buster? <laughs> uh, let's heal up Bateria. Use our last big potion. Uh, see, we have some. Lucy, we have some that needs reviving. Uh, now we we aren't going to use her in combat, but let's uh, revive. Let's see it uh, on the same. Oh yeah, that, oh, that's now that's where we need to go right now, the dark caves. Uh, oh. That voice. Okay. Back to the usual, poison it and then s just slap it around. Okay. I'm I'm going to be keeping a close eye on that fan project. Uh, yep. Yep, yep. <laughs> it volunteered itself. <laughs> I wasn't actually trying to grab it. Yep, grab it, not really. But let's get it all the same, since it's just a silver sphere. Thank you for that mental image. <laughs> Dr. Let's Zoidberg. Gremor, evolution at level 35. This is the mid-stage of the evolutionary line. The, the first one being Grem. Uh, that's, uh, 2 out of 5 in hit points, 5 out of 5 in dexterity, which is surprising, seeing as it's a stone thing. Uh, moderate jump and low special. If a Grem metamorphoses in, you know, to a Gremor, it's his strength, maturity and valor are increased. His good-naturedness doesn't influence his fighting, but as a companion, he'll, he'll soon make friends with other fairies. Okay. Then we have Mancray here, evolution at 38. Moderate in hit points, and dexterity, jump, and special are around the same, or close to the same. Psy creatures like Mancray can use their skills against most other inhabitants of the astral plane. They can enter the world of Sensor practically anywhere and are very hard to find. That's a bit of a contradiction. But I believe the only place you can find them is the dark caves over there. For now, it's though, we are headed to It might, it, it, might is... it might have a bit of a generic alien look. Perhaps you just feel like I've seen it somewhere before. Okay. <laughs> I, oh, <laughs> Clamor. <laughs> yeah. uh, someone's what been enjoying the, the cheese a bit too much. Okay, we've seen... Oh, no, this is... Pegari? Okay, must be a... Must be a third evolution in this mushroom line that I've forgotten about. That and then we disturbing. have... <laughs> Jump Rock. <laughs> Young rock for you. What Goop. the heck? Um, okay, are that, you that, all right, sir? Okay, this this thing looks freaky without it. Uh, it looks like the entire. <laughs> it looks like its eyes are caved in because it doesn't have like a the curve up the front that you would usually see with eyes this big. And then just a Psyro. Okay. Immediately switch. Because these should be vulnerable. Yep. Okay, someone's just firing off. No, you freaking don't. Okay, the mushroom. Shadow don't El uh, eat it. Shadow Elves don't usually uh, use uh, Nature Fairy. Yeah, I missed it. Oh, it swapped out to the Water Fairy. Uh, just a normal brawl on this one. Just a few hits to take it down. Yep, and it's immediately it flees. Actually, let me poison you. That would be ironic. <laughs> and of course it hits me with the slow charge spell. Hmm. There we go. 
That should help kill it easier. Where are you? Burn with holy fire! It swapped out. Okay, stone, we don't have a direct counter to that, so we're poisoning it. I have a direct counter to it. Say hello to mining brick. Okay, I don't know if it's... Oh, it's back to the mushroom again. It, it, they can be pretty sneaky by swapping out when you're not able to see them. Wait. Oh, come on, not again the... Okay, we have got a bit of an issue here. Since Viteria is low on health. So she's likely to go down. Hmm. Okay, this might be a bit of a problem. We we might get knocked out here. Uh, did I? I don't think uh -oh. I missed. Oh, we're back to the mushroom. Yeah, it's. Remember, folks, I... don't eat magic mushrooms. <laughs> oh, come on, the stupid sp slow spell. Okay, come on. Ah, missed. Okay, this might be a tough... I'm not sure if we can finish this... Ah, fuck you. I'm not sure if we can finish... If we can win this fight. With Viteria practically out of the game already. Oh, fuck. And of course it hits us with the slow charge spell again. I heard a bit okay. like we can't use mana potion in the middle of a fight. Uh, no, we can't. And I, I thought they swapped out, so I swapped out myself. That was a mistake. Okay. Gotta keep an eye on where it is. Through the fairy tracker on the side. I want to kill this thing in one shot. Oh, oh fuck. It was a wasted shot. I didn't notice that they swapped out. <laughs> I didn't notice that they had swapped out. Okay, yeah, with Vateria down... I'm not sure if we can win this. Tadana might be able to get some good hits in. Actually, I think... Okay, I think you can take down Jungrok at the least. But that... Chaos Fairy is going to be an issue since it's effective against water. Oh, yeah. Go, uh, hmm. I'll have to risk it with Tinazard. I don't think it will be super effective. Oh, oh there goes Tinazard. Uh, maybe let's see. Yeah, can be of use. Actually, <laughs> this would be hilarious if the tag along. Would be a, oh no okay we are not going to actually we might as long as we can keep dodging those shots why are you being an absolute uh, <laughs> says I mean it's going to insult it it slaps me okay uh, hmm yeah I I think we're going to lose this because these very these yep yeah, well. There. <laughs> and there we go. All right. Oh. Yeah, we're going. Luckily, we didn't miss too much there. Uh, this off the game. <laughs> okay, first off, mana potions for everyone. Uh, we don't have a. Well, there is a room for this place, but we ha don't have it yet. Okay, we're going to need to be more careful. Let's tr give that one more try. Wait, wait, um, wait, wait, wait. Hmm? How about saving first before battle? Yeah, that so won't the, have much of an effect. Mana done. I'm not entirely sure if that will actually work, but we'll see if we lose again. But more thinking that uh, if you die, at least you don't need to refeed them the mana. 
Oh, hello. Okay, but I didn't know that we'd randomize. Turnox. This is a dark fairy, and dark is vulnerable to water. Okay. That's going to make things easier. And this time we have two of these and Clamora again. Okay. <laughs> this might have actually... <laughs> that actually might have changed everything completely in our favor. Because we can just slap this thing around. Uh, Don't bring rock. stones or water fight. Oh, I, oh, I, okay. I think it has the spell that's allow, that doesn't allow us to fly. Okay, that can be really dangerous if you're having to jump from platform to platform. Bring down yeah. the king. And yeah, we could just chase it around like this. The AI, the AI isn't too smart. Um, are you sure about that? It did beat you last time. Yeah, but I was okay. Out of mana, so we're swapping. Or wait, did Tadana just get killed? Tadana, oh come on. This could have been a. This could have been where she might have evolved if she survived that last shot. Uh, oh well. Okay, that that shot should have missed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Keep distance. Okay, this spell is really annoying. At least we have good music to go along with this, even if it's interrupted by this stupid thing zapping us constantly. Yeah, I like the music here. The no, it. it feels a bit old as well. You typically Hello. expect. Oh, come on. You were saying? Uh, typically in games you expect more. Uh, fast, high beat uh, music for combat, not uh, folk. <laughs> but folk can work for combat music if you use the right folk music. This one is almost a bit too calm for our combat one. Okay. Still got a hit in. And don't forget, there is a folk metal. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Bloody, I, I, I should probably start listening to Hate Walk again. And that's Dutch folk metal. <laughs> I really should look them up sometime. Okay, this is yeah, not they, the they, slowing one. They're good. They're, they sing mostly in Dutch, but they have done some good English song too. I think it might actually be these freaking mushrooms that are doing us in because they are interrupting our attack so much. Are you getting yeah, distracted we're... by the deliciousness? No, I'm getting... <laughs> I'm getting taken out because these stupid things... Yeah, there we go. Hmm. And okay. he just said we sort of had an advantage that we might win. And you get... Yeah. Polarized. And don't mm. forget to feed the mana. Uh, just doing a bit of a check here on the charts. Psy is normal. Uh, is water is normal against water? And let's double check. Yeah. Okay. The water. The, the save did stick with the mana. Nice. Let's uh, go explore here a bit and get some more levels. Uh, hey, Liam. Hmm. Why is that a smoke pipe on your desk? <laughs> You'd ask about this before. I, <laughs> uh, mentor. Oh yeah, I have. I forgot. I forgot the answer. <laughs> yeah, I said it was yours because it's too small. I don't smoke. <laughs> yeah, isn't I it for blowing bubbles? Once. Okay, bubble. I can try bubble pipe. 
And I tried smoking once. And I was promised a uh, 10 Swedish KR, and I was like four. But it was a, not a cigarette, but a cigar. Ew. One puff, and I never wanted to try again. Okay, an Aquana. <laughs> Tadana evolves into Aquana. Which is, should help a hell of a lot. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Someone grew up fast. How, how does she look now? Okay. Aquana, number eight. Evolution at level 35. Here, no, look, 32. So, not too far off. Seven levels to go. Three in hit points, four in dexterity, one in jump, and four in special. Aquana only feels really comfortable in her own element, water. To catch water beings, you need a conch, which, uh, which you can lure the fairy you know, to the surface by making circling motions. That's not referencing the ocean conch. Well, yeah, now that she's evolved, uh, she has uh, doubled her <laughs> HP. And actually, how are you on spells? Still two, one, two, one? Uh, wait, you have... She still has small waves equipped. Uh, let's see. No special features. One, three, four. Two, 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 but two, ten damage on that. What does Slight Insanity do? Two, three, three. Opponents' spells recharge 40% slower. Yeah, we're putting that on. And, wait, didn't she have... I think she downgraded her her, yeah, her passive here, because I'm pretty sure we had healing power equipped. Okay, just put it... No, let's put that there, and then healing there. Okay. Uh, we have no fire spells for Tinazard. Uh, razor think, blade uh... from the tree. I think the, all the others indeed need some extra skills. Uh, yeah. But we yeah. can't find the uh, magic merchant for that yet. Okay, let's take uh, a left. And also, we really need to take a day soon and do a little grinding here. <laughs> Another mentor. Yeah, let's take a better look. It, it, she basic, um, she's basically uh, Cilia, but uh, reptilian now. It, <laughs> I never noticed the shell on the on on the pants. Okay, sadly oh, she's not oh, effective against Psy. I'm sure we'll say that face reptilian. Or uh, like between a fish and a uh, reptile. You mean between a fish and a frog? It also works, yeah. Okay, the spell that we were hit with there... Uh, Psy spells have, can screw a lot with the battle, because the, the special effect of that spell that we were hit with there basically pinned us into place. So if we were hit with that over a gap, we'd be stuck hovering in place. Well, for one, we'd make an easy target, but if we'd run out of flight ability or stamina, we'd, we'd of course, drop down instantly into death. Ugh. Just a man crane. Okay, I, I think I know why he's, he looks so familiar. Why then? It looks like the pterodactyl guy from uh, X-Men a little bit. <laughs> I, I, his name is almost identical to Sauron, I think, from uh, Lord of the Rings. I was, think it is was... Sauron. Or Saurok? I'm not sure. I, I know that he made an appearance in the last uh, comic that Linkara covered. Okay. I, I wouldn't know if he by accident or one day randomly turned on TV and 
at the end of an episode of old X-Men, he was there. I'm not sure if I'm not sure if he ever appears in the animated stuff, but at least not to my he knowledge. Has, but okay. He has in the old ones. That's how I learned of him. And you've seen some clips of him in the newer stuff as well. And I try to read up of him, but there's not, not much info about him. And it's not and when, I, when I try to look. If I remember correctly, across from this is the entrance to Tyrolin, but, well, we need the air cart to get across here, so we need to go back. Air... Yeah. cart? Air cart. <laughs> oh, air cart. Okay, okay. That... Okay, that makes more sense. I believe this area has one more exit, though. So, let's continue exploring. Oop. And immediately, as I say that, we're getting accosted. Hmm. I I should move Aquana to the back and put a put Tinnisard up front so he can get some more experience. No, I don't. I don't have any interest in this <laughs> chubby little hell. Hmm. Uh, okay, that doesn't really... <laughs> yeah. That voice doesn't really fit that party anymore. Okay. I wonder how her final form will be. Yeah, I already know, but I'm not going to spoil that, of course. Uh, how is fire should be... Uh, fire is normal against Psy. Okay, let's see. Prevent status changes, 20% faster uh, spell recharge. Okay. Oh, the, the effect on that second spell would be a pain in the ass. <laughs> but we've dealt with that effect before from Chaos Fairies. Basically where they, they put us on a spin. I'm here, Pinky. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to... Th I'm trying to think of what other fairy types to actually bring along for leveling. I'm drawing a bit of a blank. I'll have to... I'll have to check what... Uh, I'll have to use the chart to check what... Uh, all the... Uh, fairy types that we're effective against and fill in the gaps with others. Hmm. Actually, I, I think I know one fairy type we're going probably going to grab. Pancakes? Nope. Godmothers? Two fairy? Yeah, uh, we... we yeah. And that's how to die. Uh, Victoria died from self damage. So it's well, still and are they using the same music for every combat? Yep. Okay, it's um, nice for you, Zabak. Variety of spice of life? Yeah. Uh, let's actually not catch this one since we already have one. <laughs> and this one decides to be great and you just throw it at our feet. <laughs> not. Viteria needs to be healed. Hmm. I, I might do some off screen grinding for experience and coins. Uh, yeah, for the other ones, need some training. And also, well, to see what I need to fill in, you know, what gaps I need to fill in. Yep, like, th there's times where you can fi be fine with using one main to pull through anything. 
The trouble is, as quick that main one goes down... Yeah, you're in trouble. As we've yeah. been seeing with Viteria. Yeah, so it's usually a good idea to have a strong main, but also keep up the backup strong. Yes. Yep. Yes. That also doesn't help us. Yep, come on. It, it can be really annoying when they get low level and just start spamming like that. Then again, these ha these fairies have a level advantage over us. Level 30 about. Where is it? There we go. Okay, we might need to teleport out of here if this keeps up. <laughs> We should be able to afford a lot of healing. Yep. <laughs> and that was uh, Aquana's victory noise. <laughs> I, I do like that they have different, well, noises for when they win and such and get hit. Even between their own evolutions. Dipedaria, wake up again. She's probably getting pretty tired of this. Okay. Hmm. And there's not. I don't think there's really much we can do about the, this because these side fairies just hit hard. Uh, let's see. Wait. Is this back to where? Okay, then I'm. Is this? Yeah, this is okay. Hmm. Okay, then there must be a second. Uh, there must be a second dark caves that I'm not remembering actually, because I know that there's a an area in the dark caves that is quite big. Not... Wait, wait, wait! Don't forget to save. Yeah, and I'm double checking their mana. Yeah, for be getting levels, so better save those levels. Uh, it, it would jump us back to us loading into this area, so we wouldn't lose anything. Well, so, safe and sorry. Okay, now it has the jump rock up front. Okay. But, oh, okay. hello. I have to say this. He sounded almost like David Tennant, and what the heck? Pathville, the final in the uh, first air fairy line. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Super Santa. I think it's supposed to look somewhat like Odin. And why are we so slow? Okay, that's um, odd. I think you made a one mistake there. For some Odin reason, got one eye. Not true. Oh, no, you freaking don't. Uh, Aquana. Okay, to clean up the darkness. Well, wash it away. There we go. Oh, and it's snapped. Uh, fire should be against you. Don't ask me why fire is effective against air. Well, fire consumes air to burn bright. True. And I don't... We're not going to get full charge hits with this with Thun, especially since you have that bloody charge spell. Yeah, charge uh, actually, I've about it. It's an oversight that usually in games, air is usually not weak against fire, but it kind of makes sense for air to be weak against fire. Though you can also... Well, blew out fire with strong enough wind. True, but that needs to be really, really strong fire air. Gee. Come on, come on, get into the line of sight. Miss. Uh, yeah, we really need to find the, the fire uh, merchant. 
because this is getting really annoying with how how much we have to charge up only to have to waste the spell. There we go. Wait. Now just and tap should finish him off. There we go. Okay, jump rock. Let's swap to a corner. Get some hits in here. Oh, hello. Actually, we have. Yep, never mind. Yep. Now, come. It's going to get really annoying. Yep, this is a sl slow one. Oh, oh, oh. Away. Oh, this might be an issue. See this thing, Superman, flying at us like that with its fist forward. Come on. Wait. We'll get to Indy eventually, but not yet. Wait, yes. what? What? Oh, Why you're are you... kidding me. Yeah, we'll do some Indiana Jones you games eventually. Indi you have Indiana Jones games. Yep. Which ones? Uh, not some of the real old ones, like the point and clicks. Uh, okay, this guy is really just swapping back around constantly. That's getting really annoying. Uh, but yeah, the two games that I'd be... I'd put up for streaming would be uh, Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine and uh, Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. I did not know, know them at all. Yeah. And yes, I feel like I used to watch a video about Indiana Jones games and they were not mentioned. Hmm. Well, they, I think. they, they certainly exist. <laughs> So that's not an issue. We should be you. <laughs> okay, this sidestepping isn't going to help you with that. Okay, this one is the biggest no nuisance so f at the moment. Since I think ice is, it's uh, ice is effective against either nature or water. And why the hell are you so slow, Viteria? Not enough exercise. And all the other fairies are, wor are are walking around normally, but for some reason Viteria is being slowed down a ton. Yeah, what is this? Yeah. Screw it! Just take this thing out. Oh. Did we? Do we have a status effect that I didn't notice or something? If now that I can see... Unless he has a very slow speed to begin with. No, she's been moving around normally before. Okay, let's wash out this. And let's see, are we ineffective? Okay, uh, wrong fairy to jump to. Okay, one more hit. There we go. Third time to charm. And that also can, that also tells us that the uh, the fairies that trainers have can be randomized. Yeah, yeah this I should be a lot of experience. See that. Okay, for the area to 29. <laughs> Wait, didn't she have didn't she do the laugh before when we when she leveled up? She did. Okay, that was a, a cute little glitch then. Saving. Yeah, and also, why the why did that dog just remind me of David Tennant with the voice? <laughs> uh, I have, don't ask me. Uh, let's see. Everyone is decent on mana. And I, I, I think there is a accidental sim similarity. <laughs> Probably. Another silver sphere. Right. I, I know the, the tenant was uh, popular or known uh, 
when this was out? Probably not. Uh, he'd probably be in here. I, I don't actually know how old he is, but he isn't that old. So he could be. A, could he could have been in college when this game came out in at the uh, at the zeros and Tower of the Dwarves. Literally nothing hidden there. Yeah. Again, like the coincidental similarity. <laughs> okay, Mr. Owl. You've come a long way, Amy. Anyone who Looks travels like to deep camp... Know. Uh, <laughs> no clue here. Any, uh, anyone who travels to deep canyons and valleys of Sanzara must be experienced and have stamina. But believe me, if you climb to the very top of those mountains, you'll still never see the highest points of Zanzara. No natural path leads there. You have to use the dwarves' elevators. Driven by the magic energy contained in the legendary elemental stones, these elevators take you to the strangest places of Zanzara. Depending on the, si yep, depending on the destination, such an elevator requires different elemental stones to function. The elevator just around the corner requires those of air, earth and nature. Uh, there always have to be three. Okay, so we're missing the air and earth ones. And yeah, let's leave uh, Mr. Owl to contemplate how many, how many licks it takes to get through the center of a Tootsie Pop. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, old reference. It takes Oops. one. Hmm. That's a big dog elf. Human, how cute. Leader of the Shadow Elves. You, a menace, impossible. Uh, you only own a handful of fairies. Just come back as soon as you've caught more than ten fairies. Then my fairy, yeah, fire fairies will teach you a real lesson. Okay. I, I didn't know they'd have roadblocks like that in place, because typically I catch almost any free fairy that I don't actually have yet. So, yeah, <laughs> we have to go catch fairies. For now, though, let's look around. Oh, here's the elevator. And, well, one of, the, one of the points is already lit up. Now then, is there anything else here? Oh, hello there. Hello there. Anyone who wants to get by here will have to deal with me first. The place behind me is special to us dwarves. If you want to enter it, you will have to defeat me in a good fairy duel first. You'll need at least one side fairy in your collection, though, otherwise I won't even bother to try. Are you ready to fight? Okay, I... I didn't... I don't actually... <laughs> I didn't actually remember this bit of, about us needing a side fairy, but all the same... <laughs> uh, oh. We need it in our deck. Yep. <laughs> you haven't got a single side fairy in your deck? I'm not fighting a duel with a sloppy fairy collector yeah, like you. <laughs> okay, jackass. <laughs> uh... Which means we'll have to go back to London to grab uh, Mancray. But we don't have the teleport room yet, and we are not walking all that way again. So I'm I'm pretty sure we can get the the rune stone or the rune to teleport here from the tower. Oh, hello. What? Humans and Zanzara? Well the either never stop. The whole land is going to rack and ruin. The entry to our beloved home in Monaga has been blocked by a huge rock, Dwarf Master Quinlan has vanished, and the ghastly Shadow Elves are roaming the mountains. One of them even tried to get yet into our tower, because that's uh, where my brother and I keep one of the three elemental stones, the Stone of Earth. Only by uniting this stone with the lost elemental stones of air and nature can you activate the old elevator and travel to the Realm of Clouds. But since we guard the tower, you must meet each of us in a fairy duel in order to get the stone. Would you, yeah, would you care to try? Let's, yes. Okay, uh -oh. he has two men towers and a clum. Okay, it should be easy enough to swat. Again, what? What is it with. Why can't. Why is Vitalia glued to the floor almost? Yeah, either way, they can come to us. You should probably inspect us fast. Yeah. Ah. Hmm. 
That's one down, two to go. Luckily, we have plenty of flight capability to get a look at them, even if they get out of our line of sight. Hmm. We probably won't be getting any of these coins. That's a bit too much of a close-up, thank you very much. <laughs> Wait, what's the symbol on the coins? Uh, we'll see in a second. We should be able to look at it in our inventory as well. So you've beaten me. Ah, but you'll never win against my three brothers. Follow me into my room if you like. I know quite a lot about the platform. And yeah, there's actually a door there. <laughs> so he, is, he isn't just phasing through the wall. Ah, and here's the room. Rune of the Dwarf Tower. Now, let's have a look here. Viteria, what the hell is going on with you? You're not marked as having any stats. Wait. Did she have a status on her? I, I didn't see any symbols here to show that she had. That's odd. Hmm. A glitch that hit it? We'll have to see. Uh, but yeah. The fairy coins are... The <clears throat> Uh, that's the mark. Yeah, the symbol on the coin is the same one as we see at the at the intro of the uh, at the intro screen of the game, or the intro cinematic. And well, it, it's basically the game's logo with the Z with the fairy across it. Oh, I thought it was a, a thing, a hand doing the victory sign. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's take a quick moment to swap out our fairies. Let's see. What level is... Only level 2 on Darbu? <laughs> yeah, nope. Okay. Let's retire the seat knit for a bit. Jum Jum we could put aside as well. Um, let me take a quick look at... Okay, we have... Nature, which is good against Psy and Chaos. Um, we have Water, which is good against <clears throat> Fire, Dark, and another type that I'm not going to spoil yet. Uh, we have Fire, which is good against Nature and Air. Also Chaos and Ice. That leaves a big gap on Stone, Energy, Water... Lights and let's see. I'll have to. Uh, air would be good against water, but not against stone. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll have to check out. I'll have to do a bit of you know work on that. Uh, for that, we can keep Jum Jum with us because uh, you know, we need a stone fairy eventually. Uh, be right back. I need to throw off some. Scraps from my share. <laughs> okay. Basically, it's a good game share. Oh, Rosa, <laughs> I thought it was good, but after a few months, it started to flake and fall off its black leather. And just now it just dropped a lot for some reason. Okay. Is it one of those cup uh, gaming chairs like, like you see advertised everywhere and such? Huh? Uh, like a, like rally, you know, racing driving car uh, seats. Those There's are... no cup holders. <laughs> Not like that. But uh, the ones designed to basically keep you in place. Those are actually not that great as well, people would like you to believe. Some healing items. Yeah, I got to do that after we, we got to share. Like one more half and we got to know it and Yeah. This chair let's say is a FTW gaming chair. Yeah, just normal office chairs are actually better than those overpriced things. Yeah, we probably gonna do that for it was comfy at the beginning, but now uh, it's like a sitting up 
on a plank or something. Yeah, I'm, I've got a normal chair here from Ikea, but I'm I'm thinking about exchange, you know, swapping it out as well, mostly because, yeah, the leather is flaking off as well. <clears throat> but there's they also have much better chairs in storage, I believe, now. Let's see. A long, long time ago, yeah. Quinlan asked us to guard the elemental stone of Earth. Those you know, These stones are rare and precious. The, we dwarves use their magic and powers to run our machines. The elevator near the tower is activated by three stones. It requires the elemental stones of air, earth, and nature. Yeah, these are There are other elevators as well, which only uh, yeah, which need other stones. I'm afraid that's all I know. Okay. These stones are basically also a way of locking out anyone who's not supposed to be there, of course. And here we have the second. The... Welcome to the Tower of the Wise, human girl. Uh, don't you know that my brothers and myself are guarding this tower? Did you come to challenge me? Yes. Then let's measure the strength of our fairies. May the better fairy master win. I would have liked to have more of these characters actually named instead of just Tower Dwarf. And here we have Gram Rock. <laughs> so yeah, we have Gram the start of the line, and we have Gram Rock the end of it. Where they actually grow hair. And dignity, because they cover up. <laughs> okay, typical control, so f uh, typical tactic so far. Poison, and then just whittle away. Ooh. I don't know if the poison effect sticks on fairies that swap out like that. On us, it does stick. So... If the uh, if our opponents play mostly by the same rules, which well they don't fully, they should stay poisoned as well. But since we don't get any I'm back. since we don't get any damage tickers on them, we can't really know. Ah. Ooh, that that was a close one. There, it flew up. Yeah, I, I can agree with you about the names, like... Yeah, so sometimes shot. I get it. I get you don't always name every NBC sometimes, I can get it. But when it's done like this, there's a huge majority. Especially the ones that feel as you should not, that they should have names. It kind of gets annoying. Yeah. They're definitely taking damage from the poison, but we're, it's just not uh, showing damage ticks uh, to us, at least. There we go. Hmm. At this rate, we should probably try and get one fairy that is good against dark, with how much we're facing them. Okay, level 30 for Fetaria. And yeah, she, wo she wasn't slowed down this time, so she must have had some condition that was just not showing. You are strong fairies. Maybe you can help the white druid on his mission. Come and visit me if you want to find out more about the druids. Yeah, I, I feel at the very least uh, characters of some importance, like these uh, guardian dwarves, should have um, a name. Ooh, it's been a bit since we've seen one of these. This should be number three. Yep. Not for a single moment of their existence have the dwarves trusted magic. They created their machines with the powers of nature. The elements of air, nature, and earth guaranteed access to the realm of clouds. The shadow elves, however, destroyed these elements. Only the key of earth is still kept in the dwarves tower. Any other elementary keys are lost in Sensera. Only when the three elementary keys of Earth, nature and air, are united once more, will access to the realm of clouds be granted. Hmm. Wait, what? Sounds like they're all using magic. Yeah, just in a different... And, <laughs> in a different uh, wording, really. 
Books can be, uh, be a lot of help in Zanzara. They contain the legends of our ancestors. And one of those legends tells us of a hero who will heal our world. It must mean the right words. Sadly, the books don't say how he can save Zanzara all on his own. Take a look around. Maybe we'll find an important clue we missed. <laughs> if we turn him the right way, this fairy fa <laughs> vanishes into the bookcase. Dear poor fellow. Uh, let's do a check. Good on mana. Yeah. Let me do a double check here. That's, that's, uh... Okay. Psy is good against stone. So maybe we should put Mancre up front for a bit on the next stone fight. Next. Oh, here, of course he has a stone fairy. He's a dwarf. <laughs> Welcome to the Tower of the Wise. Uh, you have come far, I see, but only who defeats me and my elder brother is worthy of owning the elementary uh, key of Earth. Will you dare fight a fairy duel? And let's see. Okay, he has a Grammore, a Gram, and two Psy Fairies. Let's actually test out our Psy Fairy. Okay. Yeah, we can. We could actually win this against his stone fairies, not against other side fairies, which are a much higher level. Yep. Fine, you can do it. Okay, we just need to chip away at these. It always can get a bit annoying when they just get up in your face like that. For some reason, they always seem to get perfect accuracy on you when you're swapping in. <laughs> Probably because you're hovering still for like half a second, making it easy target for, well, auto-aim. Hmm. Oh dear. Yep, uh, random thought. What would you say if there's actually a series of this? Like, an animated series or something? That would be pretty fun. Or could be pretty fun. I swapped out to the wrong fairy. I, I doubt there is, but I would not be surprised at the, either if there is one. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'd, uh, I'd have known if there was. Yeah, is it, I'm going to give an example. Do you know what? there's a Witcher series before the one on Netflix? Yeah, the book. Uh, no, there was the uh, the books, then the games, and then the the series. Yeah, there was a series with li a live action series only aired in Poland. Okay, that is new. It was no everyone hated it. <laughs> okay, that explains why nobody talks about it. Yeah, like. It was only here in Poland for a reason. For many Polish felt like ashamed of it. And it was, in a way, rather offensive. Especially yeah. against everyone who were to play the dwarves. And yeah, not all of the fairies have unique sounds with uh, everything. Let's see. Your fairies are well trained, but will it prevail against my elder brother's fairies? Uh, visit me in my library if you... Uh, if you want to find out more about the realm of clouds. Yep. <laughs> Amy's so in uninterested, she just completely turned away. Oh, hello. That map of the mountain walls. And let's see, anything else to loot? <laughs> right in front of his face. Welcome to my library. Oh, the realm of clouds. A place of legend. No other place in Zanzara is more radiant and beautiful. There are many unique places among the clouds. There is the White Cathedral, the Druid's home. The Great Arena, at one time a place where fairy masters tested their strength. And the White Cloud Pavilion, where lavish celebrations were held. But all this was a long time ago. Since the platform ceased to function, no one has been able to reach the clouds. Many have entirely forgotten that the realm of clouds ever existed. 
Is it a bit ironic that their world of uh, okay. list, uh, myth and legend has, well, it's some parts of itself lost to myth and legend like that? Um, that's common, Helian. <laughs> Okay. Uh, how are you on spells? You already have a rainbow one. Let's see. Small spirits, one, two, five. Ten extra damage on crits. Two, two, two. And prevent opponents from jumping. Hmm. Only five, one, uh, five uh, uses, though. Hmm. Also, instead of using a mana potion, we could just swap out the spell that's equipped like this. Because it, it's the individual spells that have their uses, well, counted. Not, but <clears throat> not the fairy itself. Hmm. Yeah, let's leave that spell on. Any... Psy... Telekinesis. 50% faster movement, okay. It's not much, but it's still something. And here we have the last word. I have to say, I do like their design. It, they, their clothes are generally a mixture of chainmail, leather, and cloth. As well, you can see with his uh, with his arm there. Uh, I think those are probably meant as protection for work. Yep. Like, reduce chance of losing your toes and fingers. Yeah. <laughs> you would have freed it all, my brothers. Maybe you're worthy of using our elementary key of Earth. But first you will have to prove your talent against me. Prepare yourself. Okay, last of these. And... Out of, out of habit, I looked up to where my clock should be hanging, but since its battery is, gone, is empty, uh, I put it aside. <laughs> Okay, we have a gram, we have a gram of rock. It's 31.37, Gillian. Okay, still some... Uh, st yeah, still some time. It, it's been a while since we've seen a Pix. And then a jump rock. Okay. I forgot about the red one. It, I might... Okay, look. Eterius might be... Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, Viteria could use a mana potion, I just noticed, since she has only nine shots on her first sp <clears throat> first spell. But I, I think Aquana can deal with this. Flash! Actually, Down Viteria has the, the second spell now. Down Let's, with the give king. <laughs> Let's give her second spell a shot. This should slow down the rate at which they can attack, which on stone fairies with already slow attack speeds should be... Well, if there was an actual person behind that fairy, they'd be very infuriated with us probably by now. And again, it's still hitting very hard. Uh, reminds me, uh, no hot feelings, right? The uh, Grog or whatever your name was. <laughs> yep, we swapped out. Rare. There they are. Okay, poison. There we go. And now our victory is as good as ensured. All we have to do is wait out the timer. <clears throat> but to speed it up, we're just going to keep hitting it. It would be nice if we could see the damage ticks it's taking. But oh well. Uh, yeah, it's going to drop yeah. dead any second now. No, we don't. <laughs> the only reason I guess we don't is because it would be a very dead giveaway where they are hiding. True, yeah. That, that actually might be why, because you know, hiding and taking cover is a bit of a strategy that you could take with this. Yep, uh, that would be kind of dead giveaway if you can see the damage counter ticking. Yeah. 
You have really earned our elementary key. Elementary is an odd word to use here. Elemental key would probably be better, but... Uh, our elemental key of Earth. Take it. The hopes of the dwarves now rest on a human girl. Use the key wisely and come to me if you want to know more about the legends of the Zara. Yep, then Amy turned her back again. Hello, Amy. How are you doing? What do you... Uh, what do you want to find out more about? The heroics of the White Druid or the destiny of the Dwarf Master? A long time ago, the White Druid saved us from the humans. That is why I'm certain he will help us this time as well. You need to help him search for the reasons. Yeah, because he will not be able to find the culprit who is behind this disaster on his own. Our leader, Quinlan the Dwarf Master, has been lost since the dark shadow of chaos descended on Zanzara. We're all very worried about him. The son of the Dwarf Master is roaming the whole of Sanzaro searching for his father. The Dwarf Master must know who caused this chaos. It doesn't actually say why the White Druid needs help. Uh, then again, the White Druid hasn't been able to stop this on his own, so I guess he, uh, one of these again. I guess his presumption is that he does need help because he hasn't been able to fix this so far. And there we go. The elemental key of Earth. Which means we are missing one more key before we can actually go to the clouds to end the... <laughs> okay, dwarf on a turntable. I, you could buy... <laughs> uh, maybe I should edit in some... Uh, some noise... Uh, some sounds there of stone grinding against stone. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, for now though, I don't actually know where the last elemental key might be though. So we might have to go look for Rafi to get another hint. Then again, there's wait, also... Wait, what elemental key is... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we need... So what, are, what elemental keys do we have? We have nature and earth, but we're missing the air one. So let's do a double check oh, on easy. status. That's easy. Look up. Yeah, we need to find the key, not the... <laughs> it could be behind... Actually, That's it could saying. be behind this guy. Wait, what? Uh, let's heal up. Definitely going to need to go to Tyrolin to stock up again. And give it this guy a try. Yeah, don't Maybe forget to save. He forgot to save. There's no, there's no need to save since the game auto saves at the last passage. Oh, Mancray, Mansec, and then once we already know, Gren and Stobat. Um, <laughs> this looks like a, this looks like an alien aardvark. Hey, <laughs> uh, you mean an anteater? Better as well, yeah. What the heck is an old work? Uh, have you ever. Have, you know, you've probably heard of the series uh, uh, Arthur that recently came to an end finally. Uh, uh, those oh, characters are supposed oh. to be art works. They're, uh, wait, they're like, what? They're somewhat. Uh, Anthropomorphic. The anthropomorphized uh, ones, of course. Uh, ow. Okay, this guy hits pretty hard. I thought those were hamsters. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, if I remember correctly... Uh, uh, Ardvorks... Oh, crap. This is going to kill us. Actually, no, we could swap out to the other spell. Even though it deals less damage. Uh, still, we're probably one hit away from that. Ying. Oh well. Aquana will have to do then and really just zip. What's the fire rate on this jackass? We might actually lose this. Now, if, if I remember correctly, Aardvarks are like some sort of relative to pigs or something. Bark is part of the Dutch word for pig. 
Bark him. Bark. Wait, are you talking about those damn things in Indonesia? Those extra tusk boost through the upper jaw and can kill them? Mm, don't know if that are those. Okay, we we lost this mostly because we forgot to well recharge our spells. And the fact that these things just rapid fire like hell. Hmm. Come on, where are you hiding? Right, dancing around the pillar again. Or was Okay, good hits. Right. Oh, it's... Oh, yeah, now... It... So it is one of them. I... I... I still don't remember if we had a toy one of those. And how the heck do you mistake offer for one of those? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure the Not creators... Not even the ears are remotely close. I'm pretty sure it's been stated by the creators that uh, Arthur and such are artworks. I think not they much are of a pulling your legs. They look way more like hamsters than artworks. If you if you look at the author and compare them to an artwork, you will notice not even the ears are correct, <laughs> and they're supposed to have tails. They, 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 they look like a weird relative to the slo no, it's not sauce, but kind of like a weird relative to an anteater almost. <laughs> With donkey ears. Uh, you can look up uh, Arthur on Wiki or on Wikipedia or something that it likely to tell you uh, <laughs> whether they are supposed to or not. Okay. If, uh, it is of, of a thing you're talking about. I think they, in Swedish, call them hamsters or something. <laughs> uh, that would be not too surprising. For now, let's head back to Tyrolin. And go buy some healing supplies. Okay. Camera enjoying the company of the wall a bit too much again. Uh, yeah, Viteria. I'll... Uh, Almost out of her spells. That's what probably, yeah, uh, that that probably was the biggest, con uh, biggest contributor. Uh, now, who again sells? Oh, you again? Yep. Wait, did we completely overlook a potion there? <laughs> okay. Uh, this should be a shop. Uh, Pretty obvious. Okay, you... Are you just... Um, uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, oh yeah, we have plenty. Spend about Lord that. Yeah, she one. looks so happy. Yeah, the, these things are super freaking cheap. So let's just grab a bunch of all. Okay, that's really why she's happy. She knows you're gonna buy it all. <laughs> okay, we won't get a Suan for quite a while, and you are you trade. Yeah, you you trade sell these. Um, let's leave that be, since we have a good amount as okay, is. Bye. Back to the Dwarf Tower. <laughs> uh, pardon me, folks. i have suddenly very burpy. And that's usually Hillian's job. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, he's not wrong. You, you usually apologize. <laughs> you usually apologize for burping after you start streaming, after you have eaten meal. Uh, true. Or am I wrong? Nope. <laughs> I'm just See? pulling your leg. See? <laughs> Uh, All right, take two. And then it's actually mostly the same. Yeah. 
But you have no right to pull my leg. Just because you lost your own. <laughs> yes. I thought I deleted it in one shot. Uh, the stone ones were going to poison. It still, they hit freaking hard. Okay, there we go. Might, let's swap to Aquana, actually. Since we want Viteria to be... Oh, I forgot to heal them. Mancray should survive, since no, they're not effective against him. Yep, and that was the, the, the falling spell. And no, that's Aquana. Here we go, Viteria. Should be... And you there almost we... went under the skirt. Yes. Has uh... so many questions for the developers of this game. That yeah, was a self hit. Okay, the, the, our, our actual opponents are getting a lot smarter now with constantly swapping back and forth, and that. Hmm. Okay, we need to be careful now because both of our heavy hitters are low on health because I forgot to heal to Dana or Aquana. Actually, I should swap to the one that is actually effective at <laughs> getting swatted out of the sky. Okay, yeah, we're going. We might need to grind a bit here to get past these. Uh, there was that. Yeah, this is a teleport spell. Okay, let's let's try a bit of hit and run. And they swapped. Uh poison. If we're, I think we're going to lose again. But then we'll have to continue this fight next time because we are close to 10 p.m. It's, yep. <laughs> it's actually it's us being chased for once. Uh, okay, Aquana's still around. We can fly around with her a bit. Okay, Are you supposed you said Leguana? <laughs> uh, ow, ow. Have they swapped again? Should be able to take these on. Yep. A fr freaking teleport spell. No matter flight. Yeah, you, you can see how sky fairies can be really freaking annoying to deal with. There, 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 there. Okay. Need a lollipop or a cookie? Nope. I just need to get this freaking dwarf out of the way. Well, AC. Okay. You pick him up, I put him aside. <laughs> or I throw him off I the mountain side. He made any show off. <laughs> Definitely don't do that. Then if you prove me, come back and be vengeance and attack you with the mountain picks. <laughs> okay, we have a bit over two minutes, so let's give this one last try. See if third time's the charm. Wait, two minutes? We uh, have like wait. eight minutes. I, I must have... Oh, I... I set my timer wrong. I, I have two timers generally. One that is uh one I <clears throat> one that is two hours and six minutes, and one that is two hours and one minute, depending on if I remember to start the timer before or after the free stream. So I must have started the wrong one. Okay. And I Okay, it's the same as last time. So Viteria. Deal with these quickly. What the heck? Like, I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna remember to keep having ice to the drink I used to drink when we stream. So apparently, without the ice, I get very burpy. Okay. I guess. No, you. I guess the ice kinda kills off some of the bubbles. 
Could be. Hmm, that actually reminds me. I, I should check if we have some ice cubes stored in the fridge or not. Or the freezer. Yeah, uh, I usually have I usually have ice cubes ready, but apparently they were not done when uh, we were to start. Okay. Hence why I had new ice cubes today, they were not just not done. Okay, that's one gone. Thank you. Two gone. <laughs> I'm Three so sorry, gone. folks. <laughs> and one escape. What is wrong with me? Why I'm burping so much? Four gone, and well, <laughs> now the rest of the battle is a foregone conclusion. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I shot my bite there. Either way, we win this time by actually being healed up and such. Okay, we should check. We should check when Viterio evolves again. I think it's 32. Bloody oh. heck, that laughter! Not bad for a skinny thing like you. You control your fairies well. That actually... Skinny? That actually makes me think for a moment. Are the fairies actually being commanded whilst they are fighting? Or are the fairies just uh, going at it on their own accord or something? Or are they mentally controlled? Let's but also, see. maybe you teach them combat tactics? And then you go from there? Okay, oh, she, she is three points away from her next evolution already. Nice. But, yeah, but what I'm trying to say is, you, either you control them, or you visit the coach. Could be, and then this is a spot to get teleported into. Like, like literally one foot into uh, the abyss. And does that for some healing herbs. I think erosion... I, I think erosion have uh, eroded some of that rock away. <laughs> okay, that's odd. I need to stop moving again for a moment. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Let's just get across... <laughs> Just what get across heck? here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's go. I, I think what I'm going to need to put a glass bowl over you or something. Well, it could be worse. When I was a kid, I once got sick. That I basically I burped very silently. Then my mother asked, "What's that stand?" So I said, "It was me burping." Yeah, I had some. I don't know what it was flu or something, but basically burping farts. <laughs> so, Welcome, yeah, I hope I don't have that. I'm guarding the access to a rare dwarf treasure. I'd like to help you on your great quest, but first, you have to prove that you are a friend of our people. A long time ago, when we dwarves still built the most splendid and powerful machinery in all of Zanzara, we had special tools that we used for our work. Seek and find these tools and show them to me. It will prove that you are worthy of our treasure. Okay, I know what he... I know what he means. Hmm. And we need the air card to get to that. I hope he's not... I hope he, he doesn't have the... Uh, the elemental stone of air. Because I don't actually know how we could get our hands on some dwarven tools. Hmm. Uh, rather obvious. Hmm. Dwarf yeah. Mart. <laughs> yeah, but we have... Oh, I think I know how. We we need to get past the leader of the Shadow Elves. Because I think he's actually guarding the entrance to uh, Monaga. 
the uh, dwarven city. Now, where was he? Oh, again? this is theory. Uh, oh no, I I just had an idea. Imagine the dwarven version of IKEA. Yeah. And <laughs> everything would be made out of stone. Stone, metal, or in very insane quality compared to what we have on IKEA and our shops today. Let's see. We you basically might have almost unbreakable table. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, that seven. That guy eight. is probably the closest thing I heard to a French orc. <laughs> That's uh, certainly something. Okay, we need to catch <clears throat> two more fairies. Can I, have you forgot them? What? You were hell bent on trying to find videos of French orcs. Just because yeah. I have my mind can't mentally <laughs> comprehend French orcs speaking French. Uh, yeah, that, that was quite a bit of time ago. Yeah. <laughs> Like, okay. I, I can't imagine all speaking many languages, just an accent, but something about French sounds so not matching a, a orc. It's too uh, posh. I... <laughs> posh mm -hmm. or eloquent, like depending on the French, of course. But yeah, like I, I can say, hell of speak French, Italian, so, but. An orc speaking French. Yeah, like. The closest way I could imagine he. he in, in, from that uh, Shadow Elf. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I know of two places where we should be able to get some more. Actually, actually I, I, we only need to catch one fairy, really. Or one new fairy. Because we still have that uh, elemental stone of nature that we can use on Tinnifal. Alright. So uh, if we find that other Psy Fairy here, we can catch one of those, then head to London, uh, evolve a Tinnifal, and then head back. The, there we go. The son of Mickey Mouse. Viteria evolved into Bonaria. Can you repeat that? Bonaria. We've already seen a Bonaria in bone a fight. Area. Yep. A bone area. Stats of 3325. Though she mostly stays among the ferns, a Bonaria sometimes makes her mossy bed on the cool, shadowy trunk of a mammoth tree. Her hot temper exceeds that of any nature fairy, which makes her very uh, makes her very powerful in a fight. Mammoth <laughs> trees. Um, I think Gilliam. they mean the kind of uh, that the, the forest hut is made out of. Did she lose health? Oh, no, no, no. Gilliam, it's an actual tree. <laughs> okay. Uh, but do, do you remember the redwoods in Ark? Yeah. They're also tiny compared to a mammoth tree. Okay. Basically, when a mammoth tree falls over, you can't move it. You have to drill through it. So in USA, where they are com very common, and when they have fallen over, they just had to cut through it. You have to make a tunnel through the tree that have fallen over a road. Freaking it. They are Let's try very and old and massive trees. Wait, what? Uh, actually, I think about it. I think, you, I think there were some mammoth trees in this island. And uh, trying to think. This thing is hitting hard. Oops. And yeah, I think. I think Bonaria actually yeah, lost uh, health in our evolution. Um. Yeah, sometimes they, they gain, but they. 
upgrade. They they get more health, but they don't get healed. But the no, other games, I, I, they when they level up, they actually get healed. Uh, they they do get healed when they level here, but I think her maximum HP went down. Because I, I think it was two uh, about two fifty earlier. Okay, that is weird. Okay, I don't think I've ever heard that happen before in a game where they get less yeah, health but, but, than but, but, the lower version. And that's another reason why that teleport okay. spell is freaking annoying. It can send you right off the edge. Especially when you're low on flight. Yeah, I mean, that's, Stamina. That's probably the first time we that happened to us. And also, we are five minutes over time. Oh, okay. Typically, my, typically my fitness tracker goes off at 10 p.m. <clears throat> but yeah, I guess that gives us the moment to check Viteria's health now. Yeah, 240, uh, almost 270. Uh, how are, are her stats like this? Four, three, four, five. Hmm. Okay, let's. Why did hmm. she lose health? Okay, well, we'll have to dub I'll have to double check what uh, advantages Bonaria has then. Uh, otherwise, we might just keep uh, Viteria as Viteria instead then. But for now, yeah, we are done but for I tonight. Yeah, I think she so actually get more health as she levels up. Could be that. Uh, but for now, uh, yeah, that'll be Zanzara for tonight. Tomorrow, I'll probably stream Zanzara again. And then uh, on Monday, we'll do Monkey Island instead of on Saturday, because... Tuesday, I have to go. Yeah, I have to work again. Um, actually, let me check the schedule. I have it right here. Uh, let's see. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. <clears throat> okay, I might be able to stream on Tuesday and Thursday. Oh, I can definitely stream at the normal time on uh, Thursday. Um, we'll have to see about Tuesday or Wednesday, though since we'll have to stream early then but for now yeah we've we've gone four days without streaming so yeah today tomorrow and the day after we will do streams well to catch up and to get something done this week you know. and yeah next week uh, actually let me check uh, again okay i have weekend shifts so i can't stream on the weekends uh, we'll just have to see what we'll do then. Yeah, Minecraft is the easiest sacrificial lamp at, uh, lamb at the moment. <clears throat> so if we have to cut streams, we'll, that will be what we will cut, of course. Um, but yeah. Uh, another Senzora stream tomorrow. Uh, Monkey Island on the day after. And for the next week, we'll have to see what we'll do and when. For now, though... Yeah... Let me look up anyone to uh, to raid because I, I have. I think I keep forgetting that. Uh, let's see, Kaiju Fluffs, Azra our King. Am I the only one hearing music now? Oh, that. <laughs> Let me turn that off because that's okay. That's oh. that's a site that's a, that's a site that auto played music there. From uh, Genshin Impact. For a moment, I thought you could hear my neighbor. <laughs> no. But I can hear my neighbor's plate through my headphones at the moment. Uh, let's see. Kaiju Fluffs, who is playing Pogo Stuck. Rage. Uh, rage with your friends. Okay. We have Azra Arcane, who's playing Stray, which has been very well received from all I've been hearing. Uh, I'll, we might raid her, but I might just jump out because I, I'm curious about trying that game myself sometime. And I don't want spoilers. Uh, there is someone... <clears throat> and I'm just looking for other streamers. There's someone playing Stardew Valley. 
Uh, don't think Library uh, of Runa would be of much interest. Uh, I, I just get really confused by that game and its sort of prequel. Uh, Lobotomy Inc., I believe what it's called. Okay. So, shall we raid... Uh, oh, someone else has just started up. Positively Pollux, who is playing Fantasy Star Universe. Okay. Any input on who Jude wants us to, to raid? Uh, we have Pogo Stock Rage with your friends. We have Stray. Uh, we have <laughs> Fantasy Star Universe and uh, Stardew Valley. Yes, Stardew Valley. <laughs> okay, let me just grab their name then and move to. Our own channel. And here we go. Slash raids. Sounds familiar, but I'm sure this is oh. the game I'm thinking of. Okay, the target channel only allows in network raids. Okay. Uh, let's go raid uh, Pollux then. See if they're awake. Or keeping an eye on things. <laughs> okay. Raids there. Okay, uh, yeah, like I said, Cesaro tomorrow, Monkey Island the day after, and yeah, until then, uh, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. I'll try, <laughs> I've been working on well, the videos to upload, uh, I've been editing the Technomates uh, videos or the Technomates VODs to remove the uh, possible epilepsy triggers. Uh, we'll still need to upload them though. And just publish everything. Um, yeah, beyond that, nothing much to talk. I said I've, I've decided on some more games to stream, <laughs> that, or rather, to add some yeah, games to the current uh, schedule or planning for streaming. Um, yeah, which will be the Rayman games or some Rayman games. For now, though, over oh, here. Uh, yeah, anything you'd like to add? Yeah, not much. Nothing okay. I can think of, at least. Uh, uh, well, well, actually, I, I don't mind us... Uh, can you give me a moment here, sir? <laughs> the raid is about to go off, so literally, no, I cannot. Uh, oh. Uh, you can tell after. For now, <laughs> thank you everyone who's watching now or later, and until next time, have a nice day, and, and until then. <laughs> Be safe, folks!